Hello friends, I'm Joshua Day. I'm a professional artist, musician, user experience designer and composer, living out here in the, the mountains of central Pennsylvania with my wife and three kids. And I'm excited to finally get around to taking you on this tour of my home studio. Um, right now we're in the basement of my house and uh, this basement project was a two-phase project. The first phase uh, took place around uh, 2019 I had some really great con contractor friends from my church that we paid to uh, really uh, uh, remodel this whole space. Um, so in 2019, we created this multi-purpose room first, um, which was, that was the original intent for this room. And it was a, uh, um, like I said, it was a two-phase operation. And so uh, I was set up in here with my music gear and with my uh, work desk and all that for, for doing my job. Um, but then the exciting phase happened actually last year in 2020 um, when I had the main home studio built and that's where I moved all my gear and I'm really excited to take you over there and show that to you. So let's go take a look at it right now. I'm super excited to have this space. Um, I've always wanted a semi-professional, legit place to do uh, my recording and to do my job. And so when you first walk into the studio, um, this is my work environment right here. And uh, this is where I do uh, all my work for my job. Um, I have this uh, uplift desk here, which is really cool. It's a sit-stand desk, which uh, encourages me to uh, to not sit all day, but I usually find myself sitting all day anyway. But yeah, so this area here, this is where I work. And then over here is where I have my music creation space. And uh, this is a really nice area here that I, uh, I built this desk custom. And it has this really nice pull-out drawer here for my piano keyboard. Uh, it's just really exciting, uh, a wonderful space, and it's very uh, um, easy access to everything. And so as far as uh, sound treatment goes in this room, I'm a uh, more of a, a, a composer with virtual instruments and stuff like that. So I don't need a whole lot of sound treatment, but I do have some. And so back here along this back wall is some uh, acoustic panels just to, to take out some of the rear reflections. And these are from GIK Acoustics. And then if you turn around over here, I've got some, uh, uh, some sound treatment up on this wall as well. Um, it's not really professionally tuned to the environment or anything like that, um, but uh, I have some uh, sound diffusers that I got off of Etsy, and also I uh, bought this artwork up here um, off of Etsy as well, and I had it printed at GIK Acoustics um, onto a nice uh, uh, bass trap sound absorber. It's kind of the equivalent, really, of uh, having like a couch in the room. It, it does the same kind of... Um, the same kind of, of, of absorption. I also wanted to mention about the um, creative lighting in this space. I did some things with the desks. I put these strip lights behind the studio desk and also my work desk um, and uh, also this behind the diffusers as well. And um, those are those lights are from Gobi. You can buy those on Amazon. And also in the up light canisters on the ground I have Philips Hue bulbs. Um, and it's all complete RGB. You can change the color. You can change it by voice, like this. Alexa, red alert. Now we look over here. I have done this uh, um, this wall up. Uh, my contractors came in. And they built these nice built-in shelves. And uh, yeah, you can see I'm a Star Wars fan. I've got a lot of uh, Star Wars figures up on the walls that I uh, picked up probably around 1999, whenever the um, prequels came out. Um, and then uh, and then I've uh, decorated the, this space a little bit. I'm also a uh, believer in Jesus Christ, and so I have some really good reminders in a couple places up on the wall. Um, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, and may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect, Romans 12.2. I have another uh, Bible verse on this wall, too, up above the um, recording desk, which is really, really nice. And this one's another one of my favorites about, uh, um, uh, you know, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true and honest and just and pure and lovely and of good report, 
there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. That's Philippians 4, 8. And so this is the main area of the studio. Okay, so I don't do a whole lot of recording of live instruments. I do most of my work on, with sample libraries and virtual instruments on this machine over here. But whenever I do want to record, because I do play a few things. I play uh, trumpet and hammer dulcimer, piano, flutes, and a few other instruments. When I do want to record, I wanted a special place where I could actually do the recording um, and uh, have some better acoustic treatment and come, up, come out with some really good uh, sound quality. So, come on, let me show you this. This is a very special space back here. Having this space is such a blessing to me. This is a new space that is uh, designed to have some acoustic treatment in here. And um, what I've done is I've put up these panels by GIK, GIK Acoustics, as well as Acoustamac. Um, and I also have um, some really nice uh, just foam uh, sound uh, absorbers just uh, taking care of um, uh, a lot of the high frequencies. But these guys are really good. These are broadband based traps um, and they will take, they should deaden the sound pretty good. There's a, probably a little bit of ring in the audio right now, probably still because we have the door open, just so that we can film this. And my wife's doing a great job filming for me right now. She's behind the camera. This is one of my main instruments. This is my hammer dulcimer. Um, I love to play this. I'm thinking about doing a project with this pretty soon. I'll be recording some, uh, some live hammer dulcimer. Um, I remember whenever I first tried to record the hammer dulcimer, um, and uh, in, in a previous house where I, where I was living. And um, I actually went into the, uh, the walk-in closet with all the clothes around to try to, um, to, try to uh, knock out some of the reflections and whatnot. But this is excellent. Um, I have some really nice uh, AKG a C414 XLS microphones up here that I will use to capture the sound. They do a fantastic job. So I'm really excited about this space. And uh, if you look down here too, um, on the other side of the wall, um, behind my studio desk, I have a, a wall plate with XLR uh, combo TRS jacks. And uh, I can run them right into the wall there and then plug right into the wall here. And that's how I connect my microphones to my studio desk. I have a headphone preamplifier down there as well, plugged into the jacks one and two right there and that headphone preamplifier will let me uh, be able to uh, put a headphone on or if I ever have a friend in this space as well recording with me I'll be able to uh, have a couple pairs of headphones up to four um, and also because while I, the, this is a basement so the basement does still have uh, some uh, humidity issues and so I have to be very careful to, during the summertime if I have my hammer dulcimer down here to uh, have the humidifier on and uh, this wall panel up here is actually uh, telling me you know, what the humidity is in the room. So another thing about this uh, room that's really special is the way it was built. Um, this is an actual outside door. Um, this is an exterior door um, and with a threshold and some weather, weather stripping to kind of block out some of the sound coming in through this way. And also the room itself too was constructed with um, cellulose insulation behind it. And then on top of that is an acoustic underlayment followed by two layers of drywall. So that really helps kind of block out some of the sound. Um, and then of course the acoustic treatment on top of that to kind of keep sound in and not bouncing around the room. Well, that's a wrap for my home studio tour and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you uh, like and subscribe I'm going to be posting some more videos soon, including a video about how this whole studio came together. I also want to do a gear tour, kind of all the stuff that I have on my desk that I use to do my music. And I'm just really excited to, uh, to share those videos with you. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.